Hey everyone, hopefully you're having a good day. My name's Andy, my channel's Finding Value. We're going over uranium, doing some technical analysis here. Disclosure, I, I'm holding guys. I'm holding, this looks fantastic. Uh, I, I think balls are getting hit out of this stadium, guys. That, that's where the ball's going, all right? Uh, these balls aren't going to be, they're not coming back in this stadium. They're, they're literally leaving the stadium. They're uh, moonshotting. Uh, they're going out. But uh, this this looks incredibly good. Lots of strength. Lots of money flows. It is coming. And it's, it's pouring in. So I don't know what to tell you. Uh, I'm going to give you a little bit of strategy maybe throughout this uh, of what companies I would go into. Maybe some that are stuck on some resistance. Uh, but the second I tell you it, I bet you everyone's going to pile in it. And it's going to be a big move <laughs> tomorrow. So uh, we'll, we'll see what happens. But let's let's dig in. Uh, I'll give you my financial opinion. This is not advice. Uh, I'm here to help you guys ride through it. Uh, I am your buddy. You know, I'm I'm the uh, I don't know, call me the Duff or whatever you want to call it. Uh, but I'm here to help you guys ride this through. Uh, I don't have all the answers. Uh, I did see part of the last the end of the last bull market so i am relatively new uh, i've been investing for 18 years and uh, i've learned technical analysis i don't do as much fundamental analysis anymore i don't know if that necessarily will get you that much um, but you can do it it won't get you much in commodities i should say but let's take a look i'll, I'll uh show you what i think and here we go so here's uranium. Uh, the price of uranium itself, I didn't draw any trend lines here. You can see where this high is at going across. There's really not too much resistance through here. I mean, there, there's some through here. But uh, the momentum is undeniably strong. We've got that nice vertical move here. Will this continue? I would say probably. <laughs> uh, the, the, the stocks look incredibly strong so physical uranium guys this is this is a, a crazy time just hold on and it's up to you on what you want to do if you want to keep piling into physical uranium it's a still a really good value now i've got the simpsons up here it's a home run it's out of the stadium it, it's like flying over those buildings but uh this thing is moonshotting it is gone and it finished really strong today as well. So, my lord, this thing. I mean, this is this is 100% from basically the bottom of August. We're up 100% in this stock in no time. Less than a less than a month. Month, yeah, a little less than a month I would say. For an ETF, that's that's amazing. So, it finished strong, momentum higher. And I stepped back out. I did a weekly Weekly of the North Shore Global Ura Mining Uranium Index, uh, the volume is massive. And remember, we still have a couple more trading days here, guys. We broke this somewhat of a weak resistance line, and we finished strong. So it looks fantastic. It, it's my lord. Camco is getting a little stuck, a little stuck here, uh, sideways maybe, sideways to higher is my guess. Uh, next gen's getting a little bit stuck here. It looks like we're getting in the the grips of some sellers, getting getting some resistance here, uh, but it doesn't look too bad. Uh, fission uranium, it, it's finished strong. That looks really good. Uh, it may continue higher. Sky Harbor putting in this like hammer pattern. It finished strong as well. Again, this is incredible. The volume just continues to pile into this thing. So go Sky Harbor. Now, Can Alaska is getting kind of sold off here. We got some sellers, some resistance. And you know what? I don't mind buying these types because it, it's kind of gotten stuck here. When it breaks through this resistance, it's probably going to go flying. Uh, so that would be one that I would consider is Can Alaska if you want an explorer up in Canada, if that fits within your strategy. Uh, another one that I like is Baseload. It's getting stuck here as well. It's a little bit of sellers. Uh, but you know what? If you like it, I like it. You know, I'd buy it. Denison Mines is getting through its little resistance area. 
nice move, some, some pretty good volume. That one looks good. It finished really strong. Uh, now, Fission 3.0, we had a little bit of sell-off. Wick at the bottom. It, 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 basically, you break this high here at 13 cents. It broke up. It pulls back. You're probably going to see it moonshot tomorrow. I mean, that this would be a fun one to watch. I own a little bit. Um, Standard Uranium, again, this thing's coming into some selling pressure up here. Still finished pretty strong. Finished up, and then a little, little bit of a wild day today for it. Uh, but it needs to break through this sellers up there. UEXCF is encountering sellers as well. This would be another one that I would probably look into. Because uh, I like the ones that get stuck. Because they're about to pop, I think, when they break through these resistance levels. UUUU. Again, guys, I'm just looking at these candlesticks over here. It opened and, and, and went all the way through the day and finished strong. The momentum is higher on this, undeniably. Looks fantastic. UEC, another one. It, it pulled back. Momentum started coming up, it opened, and went up all the way through the day. The momentum is carrying this forward. I am bet I'm gonna will it I'm gonna bet this is gonna give a really good effort tomorrow. We do have some sellers up here. We'll see if this thing cuts through, you know, samurai sword through butter. Let's see if this cheetah gets released, but this 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 one it it finished strong. Oh my goodness, what is this? This, this is like a moonshot with a little wick at the bottom and a huge candlestick body. This is some momentum, guys. Look at the volume here. What are they trying to do? Like every, There's like more volume trying to buy this than like all these days combined over here. This is ridiculous, guys. That, that looks fantastic. That, I don't know what it's going to do tomorrow. I, I'm going to definitely watch it. Uh, I, I was buying, I bought here here or one of these i can't maybe it was here i bought a couple times in here of this trying to pick a bottom oh my god that looks fantastic urg is breaking through its resistance area it's it's unloading what it can looks great deep yellow is looking good i mean this thing looks like a small up day but it's five percent that that right there is a fantastic day for anyone but a but uranium uh, but that looks good. Uh, forces metals, way to put the force in it. Jeez, this this is a force to reckon with. It is blowing through its resistance, cutting, using knives to cut butter and warm butter at that. That looks fantastic. Bannerman, oh man, banner what? Bannerman. That's exactly right. Blowing through this twenty one percent uptay. After a 30% moonshot, this thing is money. All from this bullish engulfing candlestick here. Man, you guys should have been on the channel if you have if you weren't on here. I'd be like, Bannerman looks good. Good move there. Uh, now, here's one that I, I added some into, Forum Energy Metals. Uh, it, it, it's coming into some resistance. It's got some volume here. You know, I said, you know what? I'll add some in uh, a little bit. Uh, it's probably going to moonshot at some point. Laramide's looking good. It's got a couple, you know, some sellers, a little bit of sellers up there, but with the volume kicking in with the money flows coming in here. I'm not betting against it. That's for sure. Uh, I'm not crazy. Look at the bounce on pen. Look at that. Came down and boom, punched, punched higher. No, this doesn't necessarily mean a head and shoulders on the RSI. Calm down, everybody. Uh, but this looks good. It finished really strong. I like it. We'll see if we can punch higher. Uh, Boss Energy, nice strong finish. We got like a, a red moonshot and then a, another moonshot. Again, who's the boss? Boss Energy is, right? National Atomic Company, good job. Uh, this thing is a powerhouse. Looks good. Uh, here's one that I would be purchasing uh, because it's getting stuck here. And I like things that get stuck because you know what happens after getting stuck? You get unstuck and then you get moonshotted. So I like that one. Uh, Centris Energy, that candlestick wise was going to be a down day with a little wick at the bottom. Uh, when the money flow comes in as strong as it, as it does, it steamrolls. Doesn't matter what the sellers do. 
Uh, the buyers are coming, and it's a it's an army, it's a herd, uh, it's people figuring this stuff out that we knew on the channel for many for well over a year, um, and they're they're all coming and want you know what they want? They want your shares. Are you going to give them your shares? I don't think so. Oh, this one looks fantastic. So this is what happened. We, we, we came up here. See, see the big candlesticks all coming in here? This is like an army, a stampede coming. We hit our head on this resistance. This is another resistance uh, back in like 2017 or 16 or something. We came back. We got stuck. And then, boom, powering through. There's no resistance up here, guys. This is like punching through wet noodles. I mean, it's just going to be like right through. I mean, we're, 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 we're going, we're going higher here. This thing finished strong. That looks fantastic. Uh, what do all those people say about the RSI? Well, we're at overbought levels over what? No, we're not overbought. This is going to be, we're under purchased is what I'm going to say. Global atomic. Look at this thing. Fantastic. Uh, we had a bearish engulfing and the buyers come in and say, I don't care about your technical chart pattern. We're going higher. Looks good. Encore Energy, again, we're, we're getting some resistance at this $1.70 to $1.80 area. Are we going to punch through it tomorrow? Anyone's guess, the entire sector is absolutely on fire. So I don't, I don't see, I mean, this is Encore, which could be in Fuego. It's on fire, guys. Uh, I've got ISO Energy. It wins the, the juggling contest because <laughs> we went from $2.00 to to 655 in less than a month this 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 guy's juggling he he, he takes the cake good work there uh pure point uranium nice strong finish there i this this looks like it's going to go higher i like it i like it a lot so guys this is this looks fantastic they all look really good they finish strong i mean it's it's like foam here and they're just punching right through it there's no there's no resistance uh People are coming in here. If there is if there is a resistance out there, uh, they're about to get steamrolled. There's like a huge train coming at it. And they're just like knocking these little cones over as it hits it. So the best course of action here is to do what you want to do. Uh, I would buy the laggards. I would buy the ones that are stuck at resistance that are just kind of hitting their head on it and trying to break through. Eventually, they're going to break through and they're going to be released to the wild where the cheetah likes to run. Uh, it's a saying on the channel, if, you've, if you haven't heard me say that. Cheetahs are fast, they're strong, they're powerful. Uh, they break through resistance levels, and then they just run. They're out, they're out in the free. There's no psychological herd mentality containment left on the pattern or on the company or on the stock, however you want to say it. So, uh, guys, this is this is incredible. And, you know, I'm glad that you guys can ride this up with me. If, if, if this stuff is interesting, if you like hanging out, uh, talking about uranium, then subscribe to the channel. I mean, that's that's what I would do. Uh, in fact, I would have already been a subscriber a little while ago. Uh, I would leave comments and say, you know, I just bought XYZ. I just bought Forum Energy Metals. What are you guys buying? Put in the comment section what you guys are buying. Let me know what you're buying. How much are you buying? Like, are you buying a good amount of X versus Y? You don't have to give me like dollar amounts. Just say, I'm buying a bunch of this and I'm buying this. Uh, I want to buy this because of X reason. Let me know what the reasons are. Uh, I want to hear from you guys. Let's share this information. Let's let's help us all become successful. That's what the goal of this channel is. I'm here to to be a mentor, to be a a, a advocate for everybody, to help everyone out. Uh, and if you guys are feeling like ah, I just got to sell, you know, if none, if here's here's something that I'll that I'll tell everyone. If no one sells, if we are the diamond hands, and there's not many of us, how many shares are out there to really buy? And there's not much. You think I'm going to be selling mine? Not even we're not even near these prices. This this is I'm, I'm this is laughable, and I'll be honest. When I was first buying this uranium sector, I felt kind of weird. And and why why is that? I'm over here buying stocks at two cents, at twenty cents, at twenty five cents. Do you, you know how weird that is to me? I was like, man, I have all this money that I'm going to put in a company that is <laughs> has a share price of two cents or 20 cents or 50 cents or 30 cents or 10 cents. It just felt weird to me in the beginning because I was loading up on all this. Uh, my, at that time, my brokerage account 
would limit me to 9,999 shares per transaction. So I'd go like 9,99,99, enter, 9,99,99, uh, put a limit order, enter, 9,99,99, put the limit order, enter. And I have to keep doing it over and over because at two cents, you can buy all these shares uh, if you want to buy like a couple grand in it. And, and it was crazy how many times you'd have to hit it. That's like seven or eight transactions. So uh, let's, you know, let's ride this thing up, guys. Uh, I would hang on. That's what I would do. And I'd buy the laggards if I had to buy some. Give me a thumbs up. <coughs> Subscribe to the channel. And I got to go. This is Finding Value.